Hi, this is Mike Cullen with the Fits on the Go blog team. I have the distinct pleasure of interviewing the esteemed Dr. Bernard Gersh from Mayo Clinic. Dr. Gersh, what has been the most exciting trial at ACC 13? Thanks, Mike, and I like the word uh, esteemed, uh, which just for our audience means uh, shows you how well-trained the Mayo fellows are in the way they talk to their elders. <laughs> um, I, for me, the most exciting trial was the STREAM trial that was um, uh, published yesterday. Multi-center, multinational trial of the pharmaco-invasive strategy for patients with uh, ST elevation myocardial infarction. So this uh, randomized trial um, was confined to patients who had symptoms of less than three hours and in whom it was not possible to perform primary PCI within 60 minutes. And they were then randomized to primary PCI versus the pharmaco-invasive strategy, which was tenecteplase, uh, enoxaparin and uh, clopidogrel. Uh, during the course of the trial, they reduced the dose of tenecteplase in older patients. Uh, these patients, after getting thrombolytic therapy, were all transferred. About a third of them underwent rescue PCI, and about uh, the remainder underwent angiography about 17 hours after uh, symptoms, um, at, at least after infusion of the drug. Well, what the results showed was no difference in mortality um, and no difference in uh, reinfarction shock or heart failure. In fact, uh, slightly lower rates, I think, of shock and heart failure in the thrombolytic treated arm. Now, what I really like about the trial is uh, this is exactly how we have practiced at Mayo Clinic. We do primary PCI for all patients who come to St. Mary's Hospital in Rochester, Minnesota, but for our large uh, uh, regional health network of 28 hospitals, uh, if they present within two hours, uh, at, uh, obviously at a non-PCI capable hospital, we uh, send these patients, uh, we treat these patients with fibrinolytics and then transfer them. So this is exactly how we've practiced and we published it first in 2007. Secondly, this is totally consistent with the guidelines. The ESC guidelines for the last three years have advocated this approach and now the recent ACC FAHA guidelines. So, it's very nice to have some randomized data to support what we always felt was very logical. Now, I would add, again, I think that the key to reperfusion therapy is one size does not fit all. If you live in a large city with multiple cath labs, there's no need for this strategy. You just divert a patient to a PCI-capable hospital. But we live in a rural area and um, very pleased with the results of the STREAM trial. Thank you. Excellent. And rumor has it that someone else is receiving the uh, Master of the American College of Cardiology Award. Dr. Gersh, tell us what this honor means to you. Oh, it means a great deal. The being, um, it's always nice to be recognized by one's peers. Um, I've had a long involvement with the college. I've got a lot out of the American College, and I think hopefully you've put a lot into the American College. And it's always uh, nice to be recognized. Um, by being made a master of the American College by one's peers, and um, um, I'm very pleased about it. Thank you. Well, thank you. We appreciate your mentorship. We appreciate your time. <laughs> <laughs>